Hello, my name is Peter Hrankovic with the Avaya Global Solutions and Support Services team. This video is about the configuration and use of the Avaya Aura Utility Services MyPhone application. The MyPhone application is a web-based user interface available in the Utility Services virtual machine. This application enables the IP phone users to manage their own station configuration using a simple web interface. Users can change their station security codes, feature button assignments, language settings, EC500 enhanced score forwarding, and so on. Changes the users performing are then pushed by the MyPhone application to the Communication Manager station form. Uh, the MyPhone has an admin interface where administrators can configure a link between the MyPhone and the Communication Manager system, control which buttons user can select, modify. In case you have just recently updated to Utility Services 7.0 Feature Pack 1, you should take a note that the MyPhone admin interface has moved to a different URL. The Utility Services also has a built-in HTTP WML functionality and further fine-tuning of the WML features is also possible by the MyPhone admin interface. However, the WML features are not going to be covered in this video. First of all, in order to use the MyPhone application, you must have a working link between the MyPhone and the Communication Manager system. This link is an SSH connection between the Utility Services Virtual Machine and the Communication Manager. The Communication Manager must have a privileged administrator account that the MyPhone will be using to log into the CM and perform the administrative actions on the user stations. The MyPhone will have to be configured with that account and the connectivity test will tell if the SSH connection can be successfully established. So let's open first the MyPhone admin interface. the default administrator account and go into the my phone AESCM and SCS access. On this page you should specify the login name that the my phone will be using to access the communication manager system. In this example it is configured as my phone. Then the IP address of your communication manager system and then the port to access the communication manager system, which is 5022. 5022 stands for Direct Secure Set Access. Since this account is not yet existing on the communication manager, uh, we should create it first. So open the communication manager web interface. Login with your privileged administrator account. Go into administration, server maintenance. Scroll down to security administrator accounts and add the privileged administrator account. The username was specified as my phone. and we provide the password for it. Click Submit. User was successfully created on Communication Manager. So let's go back to the Utility Services MyPhone admin interface. Populate the password, click Save. You can go back and click the Test button. verify that the SSH connection from the utility server to the communication manager is successful. Under the My Phone Feature Buttons link, you can limit what feature buttons the user have access to, what feature buttons they can program on their stations. Now let's access the My Phone user interface. It's 
just the IP address of the utility services and the front page you would see in the my phone link click on that on this page the users are prompted to enter their extension and station security code Log in with the example extension of 1081. And the user is provided with a short summary of their uh, extension display name, extension or station ID, station type. They can choose their own language, display language, ring pattern. They can change their station security code. They can modify their call setting parameters, like call forwarding, for example, and they can program feature buttons. For example, the user can create an auto dial feature button. Again, this drop down list is limited to the items that were specified by the administrator as available or usable feature buttons. So we can select auto dial, populate a string, click change. You would see that the fourth feature button will be an auto dial number feature button. We can verify the same in the communication manager set interface. This feature button was recently added by the my phone user account the my phone user accessed the communication manager set interface and issued a change station and created the feature button on the fourth position thank you for your time today we welcome comments questions and feedback at mentor at hawaii.com or on twitter at hawaii mentor for more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.